Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to Chess.com's Christmas Bots, of which I took three of them on last year. But I didn't actually get a chance to take on Dash and Holly. But today we're going to be taking on them all, or as far as I can get in this video anyway. What's that on my ear, you're asking? No, it's not a decoration of taking off the Christmas tree. It's my new earring. God. All right. Last year I wore a Santa hat to get in the festive spirit. I've got to do something to differentiate, guys. I know. I know it's silly. All right, Powder, 700 rated bot. Let's take him seriously. He was the youngest member of the North Pole Chess Club. He stayed in the sun for too long and lost some rating points. Beat him before he melts. So I've got a dedicated video on these first three bots, but today we're going to do a speed run of all five Christmas bots, hopefully. Uh, let's get into this challenge match. So, against the 700 bot, let's just put some pawns in the center. I'm not doing any theory. And... Could just keep, maybe get this structure here, kick the bishop back. Why not kick it again, guys? Normally, if you can keep taking space with a tempo, it's okay. you got to be a bit careful pushing pawns in front of your king, because it does open up this diagonal. So I, I did check that before I pushed this pawn. But Powder has already hung a piece. So we're going to take that and just keep developing, just because we're... <laughs> uh, just because we're up a piece, we don't need to do anything mental. We can just keep developing. Powder disrespecting me here with the old king move. Let's line up with that king. And, I mean, let's line up with this queen as well. I mean, look at these bishops, man. So nice. Uh, I guess develop the knight. Maybe he's going to chip away at the center. I mean, castles. Look at this. Rook lining up with the their king now. And surely we have some... I mean, <laughs> this. Sorry, guys. Yeah, this. Oh, it just gets better and better, doesn't it? So not only are we smashing open the rook towards their king, but we're doing it with an initiative on their bishop. I mean, okay. <sighs> I don't know which way to take. Both look pretty good. I guess we take the knight. And just, I mean, we can deal with this issue. But bishop, king, we always try and danger level. So our bishop's under attack so we can attack a higher value piece, which is their king. Uh, and it was also a double attack on the queen. The cheeky little move. Um, and because the bishop supports the pawn, king cannot just take the pawn. But... So that's... Is that checkmate? <laughs> what? That's the weirdest checkmate. Yeah. Because they've not even developed properly. I just sort of assumed rook would take there. But because their development was so bad, that's just just checkmate. So uh, I did I did three blunders apparently. I don't, I don't know where I'd find the time to, to blunder in between taking all these pieces. But yeah, I've not been playing the best recently, guys. Uh, so we're playing Eve now. We're going up a notch. She's 900 rated. Uh, I, what's her spiel? I, I just want to just quickly... Uh, wait. Can I resign this and see her spiel? She's been training some new openings. She's lost some rating points, so she's underrated potentially. Can you get her an advantage? So she plays offbeat openings. Okay. Challenge match. Eve, 900. Again, another one of these Christmas bots playing a random move on the edge of the board. Again, we just take the center and should be happy. Just get some nice developing moves. I don't see anything too crazy so far, so I'm just going to keep getting my pieces out. And this is my sort of default setup with the bishops like this. And this is engine approved in quite a lot of lines. Uh, the bishop here and here tends to be fairly uh, flexible. I know I know you go for the setup when they, when they go for a fianchetto here with the bishop. And it, I've seen this. This idea by the engine uh, in a lot of different openings. So I'm sort of wanting to move the knight to open up this diagonal. Uh, she's really weakened this diagonal, which I mentioned in the first game. 
got to be careful when you push these two pawns here. I mean, can I even sack the knight? Is it check? King just moves. So let's just let's just go back with the knight. And again, what is up with these Christmas bots? The king is just is coming. He's coming. Uh, I, I mean, check. What does he even do here? If check, doesn't he have to go here? <laughs> and then this? Or just this now attacking the knight? Oh, I guess he has this square as well. But let's hit the knight first. I mean, what is going on, guys? <laughs> okay. uh, so we can just throw in this developing move for free. Bishop is technically developed, but I think it's even better on this square. Or we can take this, hitting the queen. But king is more important than queen, so we can throw this one in first, then do this. And I mean, we are up a piece, so we, we could just trade. Uh, that is just a queen, though, isn't it? Um, <laughs> sort of confuses me, guys, when they play like this weird. Yes, yeah, so we take the queen, I guess. How's the earring looking? It's not, yeah, it's still looking good. It's glistening, glistening in the light there. And we're up so much material. Get stab it into my neck. It's pretty sharp, this thing. I mean, I see this weakness. Let's target that. Or this. I mean, I guess we take the rook. And recover the old knight. And now this is just an exercise in uh, gobbling. But yeah, let's try, let's try to get a nice checkmate though. So this and maybe this, opening up their king. Still that. Put a rook opposite their king. And now let's try and smash it open. Uh, yeah, let's go with this. This should be pretty matey now. There it is. Oh, so Eve, not much better than Powder, if I'm honest. Don't want to spend too much time on the first few games, but it's going to get a bit more intense now. Now we go on to the big man himself. Santa, as we say in the UK, Father Christmas. The 1200, he's busy all year long. Is he? I thought he just chills out most of the year. He's busy all year, but finds time for a game of chess. He's used to losing to his wife, Holly, who we'll see in a minute, guys. She's a scary woman. Holly, but he has picked up some new tricks along the way. I feel like there's no puns in that. There's normally a pun or two, but okay. All right. E4. Let's just smash it open immediately. Normally, when they when there's a pawn here, it's best not to take with a queen. It's best to like take with a knight if you can. Do we have time to do that though? For this, this, maybe we have to take with a queen. So I'm playing some openings I never normally play, by the way, guys, because I don't want to beat these bots just because I know like a little bit of theory. In some lines, you know, I want to just give you good, good tips how to beat him, even if you don't know any openings whatsoever. So this seems tempting to hit the queen, but of course, checkmate. Uh, so, I mean, this blocks, but then, actually, that's a very weird move where they can just take that, and we can't recapture. <laughs> So we do have a problem solving. I'm just going to kick the queen like this. Blunt that diagonal. And now Santa is creating some real threats for us, guys. Uh, I mean, we've got to get developed. We can do this. Could go for a queen trade, but maybe that's a little bit scared. We can, we can withstand this pressure. And... Not sure that's the best move, moving the same piece twice. 
just develop that, defend that piece a little bit. And I'm just looking to get castled here. This knight is a little bit loose. It's only defended once by the queen, which, you know, it's always good to just over defend things. So now Santa, he came out with a real initiative. And now he's sort of not knowing what to do. Trying to maintain some sort of attack. But what he should be doing is just to continue developing, of course. Now I'm just going to put a rook on this, defending this pawn. And I'm, I'm inclined to want to move my king, actually, here. Just to step off any issues with the bishop. I can probably just take here, though, now. I have got this square covered by Rook and King. So let's trade off one piece. Um, which felt good for me. Yeah. Because now they've only got two pieces out. And I've got most of my pieces out. See, I want to play this. Hit the Queen and start opening my Rook up to attack their King. But first, let's just slide the King into safety. And then we're going to start turning the tables on Santa. Boom. Here we go. So we've solved all our problems now. And now we can have some fun. Uh, so I'm just seeing actually the light squares look a little bit weak. I could always put my bishop here to trade off. Uh, I mean, could come here with just the immediate threat of the fork. Which he defends clumsily. But it's a king in the center now. But it is defended. I mean, I have this move. I feel like I want to keep moving with, with tempo. I can play this, defended by the knight. And I, yeah, I just feel like, look at this now. Just keep on pushing. I have a space advantage. I have a development advantage. So I don't want to give him chance to, uh, you know, open up his pieces and develop. I want to punish him early. So I can move here. X-ray and the rook. See, a move like this might be tempting. But all it does is allow him to develop. So I don't want to do that. I want to keep as much tension as possible. Uh, queen could be better, couldn't it? I'm going to go with this move. It's my first instinct. Line up with the rook. I mean, now surely this is good. Take the rook now. So a little revealed attack on the old rook there. And I think now we have Santa under control. Oh, and yeah, so that's probably a bad move. See, he's just stepped into this alignment issue with the bishop. And this has got to favor me to just crunch the center open uh, and attack their uncastled king, surely. Even though we're up material... It's just going to be even better if we're attacking him as well. Let's just open it up, I think. I mean, this lodge in. Where does the knight go? Maybe. Hmm. If we take. It feels like maybe we're opening up some counterplay for them to. You know, they've got this open file. Well, the queen cannot get to this square because of the amazing bishop here. If we push. And they go here. Push again. They go here. I'm going to lodge it in. I want to. I want to see what happens. Ah, oh, so, yeah. Santa's just hung a piece. It's just hanging the old knight there. And now I see this alignment issue uh, with the queen and king. So we'd love to get a bishop to this square. And this just comes, the more you play, guys, you just sort of see these whenever the king and queen are lined up a bit weirdly. Uh, so how can we support this square? Like This is a bit obvious versus a human. <laughs> but against the bot, I don't know if they think like that. So maybe this. I guess they've always got pawn up though, haven't they? Yeah, so it's not a real threat. So in that case, let's just keep developing. Lift the queen, connect. 
And let's force trades, guys. We're up a lot of material here. Uh, I mean, this hit the rook. Okay, we're just going to take. And we can even just come in like this now. Can we just take this? Pawn takes. You know what? We're up nine points of material, guys. Let's just simplify as much material as we can. And in that spirit, let's just force a trade of the queens. No stalemates, though, guys. I know I've got a bad habit of stalemating. Uh, especially when I'm trying to talk and uh, get on with the next game. But, yeah. So probably quickest win is going to be some sort of promotion. And he's got moves. He's got these pawns. Uh, yeah, in the last couple of videos, I've been really slow to find the checkmate at the end for some reason. Uh, so, I mean, I want to cut the king off. Maybe queen on this square does a good job. And then just cut the dark squares off as well. And now should be mate in two. Yeah, there we have it, guys. Take it down, Santa. All right, on with the next one. We just we just keep plowing through them. Plow. I didn't I didn't mean to do that. All right, dash. Plow like a snow plow. Yeah. Dash 1500. Santa's most powerful reindeer is an avid, avid chess player and the vice president of the North Pole Chess Club. Wow, that's prestigious. His aggressive style has lost him some rating points from last year. Another underrated opponent, but he is still dangerous. Dash 1500. Challenge match. Okay. He's going to have to take a little bit more time here, maybe with Dash. Uh... And I'm scared of Holly, guys. 2100, I don't know how I'm going to do. I might do a whole video just for Holly, you know, so I can give it the proper time it deserves. Uh, yeah, so I like this structure, actually. Because um, we get an open rook. And it also allows us to crack at the center. Supported by this key pawn here. Key doubled pawn. Uh, so... Yeah, double pawn's not always bad. If we take, take. They get rapid development of the bishop. I'm just going to go back. Maybe they want to expand. But... See, so this pawn's now under threat. Yeah, I guess this then. It's not, it's a bit clumsy developing with the, defending with the queen, but. castle I want to kick this let's just keep developing first they can't, they can't come out with the queen I've got that covered and now their, their knight only has one square to retreat to so it feels like I can maybe Try and punish this knight. You know, my queen's lined up with it. I can maybe try trap it. If I could just get a bit more control of this square. Or. Get my queen here. Takes. So thinking if I line up with this pawn. So this pawn's pinned. Then the knight can't come back here. As easily. Then rook takes. I don't know. It's probably too many moves. Let's just kick it. I <laughs> can't see a way of making it work. But. Uh, I mean, can I crack at the center now? Thing is, they've always got this move to undermine the knight, which holds this pawn. So I'm just going to continue to try and find improving moves, like just doubling the rooks on the open line. This, this, this. Is that good for me? I mean, I feel like this knight is just going to be a target anyway, so I'm going to trade it off. Oh, and that's, that's a bit of a concession now. Okay, so we obviously take and damage their pawn structure there. So dash, a 1500, just not recapturing a piece. That's okay. <laughs> okay, chess.com. 
see, I think in the in Chess.com's marketing team, they're like, oh yes, we're going to encourage new players to the game of chess and increase our revenues by making all these bots really bad so people feel good about themselves. But I just think it's a bit of an insult to a 1500 to just, you know what I mean? Not recapturing a piece. All right. We've got a fork now. Take and trade off pieces. We are up material. Uh, I guess take here. Kick the knight back. And add some pressure here. Okay, so he's defending this square. Okay, dash. <laughs> so you defend the backward pawn, but you you don't recapture a piece when I give you one. Uh, all right, activate the queen. Uh, their queen's sort of targeting this pawn. So I can... I wanted to go into the dark squares anyway. Well, maybe I could come in. See, the thing is, if I drop this pawn, it's a bit awkward because the rook's pinned to the king. And, you know, so I'm just going to defend this pawn. So we can sack the exchange for a pawn and a knight. And have some nice pressure here. I think we're up enough material to go for this, I think. Now his rook can't move. And after this, his queen doesn't have as many targets. Got this pawn defended. And now we just need to get the final piece into the attack. Queen and rook both doing something, so... If we can get the knight involved, maybe even this, improve the king. And just defend this pawn forever. So now, now I can just casually bring the knight. And here should be very nice. Check. I mean, hit the rook now, and now we're destabilizing this key square. So taking the rook, trying to get in on this square. And now he, <laughs> Dash just, yeah, doesn't have any moves here. So I've, I've just got too much pressure. You know, after this, he's got no more checks. Uh, so I need to find a way to win this. Um, just going to shuffle, maybe. Okay, I'll trade. Target the weak backwards pawns, and we're going to try and promote one of these pawns. No stalemates, though, guys. Okay, we're pushing. Still no stalemate. They've got that pawn on g5. And king here, cut him off. Okay, cut him off further. And there should be a checkmate here. There we have it, guys. That's how you take down dash. You know what? If I play the final bot now, I think I'll rush it a little bit because I'm aware of how long the video is getting. But that's how you beat most of the Christmas bots. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good Christmas, guys. And make sure you catch the game versus the 2100. The the uh, the Queen of Christmas, Holly. Mrs. Claus. Yeah. See you then, guys. Cheers. Like and subscribe.